Welcome everyone to what will be a much shorter episode of my Shrewsbury Town career on FM16 as we are playing AFC Wimbledon in the Capital One Cup first round. And what a great opportunity this is to go a little further than we did compared to last season when we got knocked out against Hull in this same round. And with the players that I've brought in in the summer as well, there should be no excuses really. I mean, Wimbledon, they're down in League 2, so... We shouldn't be having any problems whatsoever here today. You can see uh, I've got Adam Reach in the side, Percival and Long at the back, who's come from Burnley. And Luke Williams gets his first start for town as well. He came on for 30 minutes in our first game of the championship season against Bolton. Didn't really give him much of a chance to prove what he can bring to the table. So here we go. He gets a chance now and we've got Lenahan as well. Oh, what a ball from Williams. Shame there wasn't much of a highlight there. It was just slightly over hit as I think it would have gone out for a goal kick. But we're getting dominated here early on so I'm going to switch that to defensive. We'll keep it structured for now. But it's Wimbledon that are on the front foot here. That's a good quality cross into the box. And they couldn't get on to the end of it. Oh, Lee Weiler. Who was phenomenal against Bolton with numerous saves. As I mentioned in that previous episode, I think he's going to be able to thrive in this, this new season. It's a new challenge coming up against new teams that we're, we're not used to playing. Just hoping we can, uh, we can do well here today. Hopefully we can win and not get knocked out like we did last season. That was absolute madness. We performed so well in that game against Hull as well. I suppose with these new players coming in, there is that worry of them having to settle down to gel with their new teammates. But from what I've seen already, even though we're two games into the season, it doesn't seem that it doesn't look like that's going to be much of a problem. And I will keep that defensive. Actually, I don't want to leave it on attacking. That's another good quality cross into the box. They're looking to exploit those flanks. Crosses coming in from the left and the right. We should be able to counter that as I've got my players. Playing fairly narrow, going through the uh, the middle. If we just leave it a defensive and fluid, things will look good. Cole, this is good play. To Williams, Cole again. He's got Tootle behind him. He does find Tootle. Tootle with a good cross. He's gone for goal and almost found it. Hitting the crossbar in the process. Collins was there to mop up and put it into the back of the net and that will be the final chance of the uh, the first half so nil nil at half time get back out there grab that one goal to win this for us I think one goal is is going to be enough isn't it I mean I don't see much com I'm, even though Wimbledon have had quite a few good crosses into the box it just doesn't seem as though they've got a player there ready to actually step up and put the ball into the back of the net let's see what we can do Adam Reach I'm Probably going to have to take him off in a minute because I want to keep him fresh for our next game against Ipswich. That's going to be a difficult one. And it's away as well in the championship. Will we be able to pick up our first three points there? I don't know. Let's push Williams up front. Let's take off Collins for Clark. And his role... His best plays as a false nine in support and Cole can... As his set on attack should be able to uh, work his way around that. Let's take off reach them. Let's bring on Junior Brown, which will be his first sniff of competitive football this season. L Lenahan on a yellow. It's not the easiest of names to say. Oh, Fletcher with a header. And it hits the crossbar and goes out for a goal kick, thankfully. You can see that we're controlling possession now, but we're just not having many chances let's go counter structured let's have a look at our instructions yeah some wide they seem to be playing a lot more narrow now let's go pump the ball into the box exploit those flanks if they want to play narrow then we'll play wide try and get around that that's Ashley Fletcher have they got him on loan from United or have they bought him Cole with a good cross into the box oh no way Long almost got his first goal for Shrewsbury. Just putting it wide. My God, is that the... The game's almost over. That's gone so quickly. Damn. Players are looking knackered as well. 
This is going to go into extra time, isn't it? It's been so even, so difficult. I mean, they, they've had nine shots, we've had ten. We've had more shots on target just by one. All right, let's see if we can finish this in extra time. I don't want to take it to penalties. If we go all the way... Well, we've got to go all the way to 120 minutes now. We're going to be dead for that game against Ipswich. And it's away as well. Oh, no. It's becoming a bit of an issue now, tiredness. Black slipping up there. It's getting reckless. Let's go back to defensive. I'm going to have to think about Lionel Cole as well. I can't afford him to uh, pick up a, a silly injury. So I'm bring on Sean Wally. That's my final sub. Let's see if he can add an extra spark to the game, which we, we could do with. Just trying to exploit that right flank where he's at. Play out of defence as well. Come on, town. Where's that goal we've been looking for? It eludes us at the moment. Wimbledon will be thinking the same thing. As they push forward here, Brown intercepts, getting his body in the way. Can't keep moving. Keep pushing up the field. And he's pushing out wide there as well. Tuta with a throw to Wale. Finds Clark. No, he doesn't. And it's Wimbledon on the break now. Fletcher finds Taylor. Oh, no. Oh, what a block. Was that, was that Black coming in and booting that away? I think it was. Tuta. Well done. Good challenge. Clark. That's got to be a red for Forkingham. He's off, he's off. Yes! They're down to 10 men. Not long remaining. Let's go overload. Don't want to take it into penalties. Can't be doing with that stress. Oh, what a ball from Williams to find Brown. But he had no other option but to hit that first time if he wanted to keep the ball alive. And there was no one in the area. No options. Unless it was to magically go into the back of the net. Look at my players conditioning. That's absolutely terrible. Yeah, it's going into penalties then. So Black, Long, Williams, Wally, Clark. I'm happy with that, yeah. I think it's probably wise that we leave it as it is. So Wimbledon to take first. And they've missed the first penalty. Straight away, they're on the back foot. Black makes it 1-0. Get in. It's a good start. Come on, Luke Wyler, if you can save this. Up against Taylor, he doesn't. It's top left-hand corner. It's 1-1. Can we make it 2-1? The penalty from Luke Williams, he does. Get in. Well done, son. Fletcher. Oh, what a save from Luke Wyler. That's two pens saved now. Kevin Long. Nice. Nicely placed. Bottom left-hand corner. 3-1. Full up. He needed to score that. Otherwise it would have been all over. Jordan Clark. Oh, he's missed. Wimbledon still in this. They need to score this penalty. Barkham. Oh, what a save. Three saves altogether from Luke Weiler. And we are going through to the second round of the Capital One Cup. Fantastic. We got away with that today, you report. No, I'm going to... Going to keep morale high. I'm pleased with the uh, the performance, which, you know, to be fair, it was good overall. We dominated possession, good amount of shots. Just a little disappointment that we had to take it all the way to penalties when we had enough quality on the pitch to put a couple past their keeper. All right, well, there we go. We are through. That's the main thing anyway. Just slightly worried about fitness issues now heading into our next game against Ipswich. There's a headline, choose we tie it, winning Capital One Cup first round. Clough on form for Bolton. Look at his rating. What fantastic player. Let's get into the uh, the second round draw for the Capital One Cup. Let's see who we have got. You've got teams like Bournemouth, who we played in pre-season and lost 2-0 against. Palliser in the hat as well, as well as Everton. Preston and Walsall first. Rochdale and Villa. Watford and Sheffield United. Oh, here we go. Shrewsbury Town. We've got a home tie. I'm happy about that. We will play Brentford, who are also a championship team. That's a good draw. I think we can we can get a win there, surely. And then again, it might be difficult. I mean, on the opening day of the championship, they 
battered Huddersfield 5 turns we just saw. Right, for the next episode then, I will go ahead and play a big chunk of games. Maybe for that Brentford fixture. Actually, you know what? I'll be back for the game against Watford. And I might do a double episode there to play Sunderland as well. Or maybe a triple episode with West Brom. Wow, three massive games in a row. It's going to be brutal. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon.